dear trainee, fellow trainer, wherever you're watching this video from, thank you for being my active subscriber. Today, I'll be taking you to review of plan electron installation. Since in this channel, we have covered all elements of plan electron installation. So I'm doing the review of those tough areas that are very critical to this unit plan electron installation work. So today, I'll prepare on how to prepare a site survey report after you have conducted a site survey how can you come up with a report and then from this report how you can go ahead to sizing your system if it's a solar installation if it's just a new installation in the building how to go ahead and size and even come up with material quotation as well as the list of tools that are appropriate to them so you remember the topic conduct site survey I told you that why you you're carrying that, you have to go through certain parameters, even though I have covered some of you and some are not, but I'll take you through on what you need to cover and how to cover it. So be good and be active. Thank you. Let's test. So from what you can see on the board, this is my site survey report sample, and you'll see it has the title. The title has to say what the report is all about. What uh, where the, uh, the report uh, or what was conducted with the service conducted where and when and by who so from this case you can see an electrical site survey report conducted on a three bedroom house at Mbuyuni street in Voi uh, by Lux and Sons Electrical Enterprise on 5th Feb 2024 so that one tells you what when where and by who so introduction quickly, we have to introduce who is Lux and Sun Enterprise and uh, why you are carrying out this survey. So Lux and Sun Enterprise is a private electrical contractor company dealing in all sorts of electrical installation activities. The intent of this survey was as follows. So these are the objective of the survey. To get to understand my client's need, assess the nature of installation, devise a clear uh, and uh, design electrical system for the building, and uh, was well quote what is needed for the installation. So the survey was done on site on that, on that date at 11 a.m. with presence of the owner, Majimoto, and his building contractor, Misiku, of Fountain Construction Limited. So that one is already I'm sizing effort to meet with the third party. The third party in this case is the building constructor. Then I go ahead. So that's the introduction part. Remember the body part, you have to be tackling the parameters, but indirectly. You don't have to say the type of installation, uh, the type of the building. So you'll see this paragraph, I'm explaining the nature of the building. So the three-bedroom house located at Mbuyuni Voy has seven rooms in total. This is a residential installation suited building, and the house is made of machine cut blocks and metallic window and door frames. As an expert, I recommend that reference method A of installation be applied. So you can see from the nature of building, it's a normal building, where the, the, the one that are carrying up uh, currently, and uh, the, the uh, affordable housing project. So in this case, I'm recommending as an expert in my field of electrical, based on what is there, that uh, reference method A of installation should be applied. And in this case, I mean, if I, I, I to use conduit, the conduit should be thermally insulated in the wall. I should not, when I walk in the room, I should not be able to see the conduits. So they should be inside the wall. That's what the reference method A means. But all this, you can get it uh, in your table of reference from IE regulation. And then I've said also, it's suitable that we use single core cables, not twin and earth cables, so we use single core cables both for light, uh, for, for live, neutral and earth. I've said also the roof, the roof of the building is a mixture of metal sheets and timber, which is common. So in that case, I'm explaining the building type and the nature, and in that case, recommending the type of installation, the method of installation, even, even the type of the cable. That's how you capture it. Upon that, I also met to the Majimoto and I asked on the needs what he expect of Lux and Sun Enterprise during the installation. So that's when I was able to get the meet gritties of the installation. You see, when you're given the flow plan, you are the electrician or you're the electrical contractor or the technician, it's your work to design and make it suitable. 
to the client. So it's good to listen to the client first. So the client seemed to be expensive and wanted more luxury because, as you can see, the house is located in a town, in an urban area. So in that manner, you have to follow that. So you can see the launch, the client has demanded that uh, we put a beautiful chandelier, eh, the one that uh, have a lot of glasses and all that, very good, beautiful, shiny. And the chandelier should be controlled with a diamond switch. Yes, and we also request that you should have lights on the walls, all the four walls, so that is a wall bracket. In addition, there was need of putting three twin sockets because when I met the client, he said that he would be having a position for TV, we have stands and uh, at the corner, and also for the guests if they need to maybe charge their phone. The client also intends to have an air conditioner in the lounge or the living room. On the other side, also the same appliance, there's a diner, which is just connected to the lounge, but uh, not separated with the wall. So the same, we'll also be having a beautiful chandelier, two wall brackets, and two twin socket outlets. We'll know it for what. Then in the kitchen, the kitchen, you also request that have a control, cooker control unit, two twi twin socket outlets, one for the fridge and cooker, not fr fridge and cooker, fridge and re freezer, I mean. And the other one is for general purposes, like uh, when you're using maybe a grinder, you're using a toast machine or a coffee maker, you use there. And then also the lighting, uh, we are going to use just a double fluorescent lamp for enough lighting. Then the, ma the master bedroom, we have two uh, wall brackets, a LED strip light. So in this case, it doesn't want a chandelier, it doesn't want a fluorescent lamp, it wants a strip light. And the kind of uh, finish that is done on, on the ceiling, the ceiling type is a gypsum one, and uh, in that case, all the decoration can be made available in, in working with the, with the building contractor. Then also we have the shaver socket in the washroom. We have a light bulb for the washroom as well. Two single socket outlets, this one to be embedded uh, alongside the, the bed sides. Uh, yes, so this can be for reading lamps or uh, for even charging the bed, uh, phone. You don't need to stretch to go to the twin socket on the other end. Maybe that one can be for the TV mounted on the wall. And then the, the other two bedrooms, we, which are same dimension, uh, we just need uh, one socket outlet for each room. That would be now two. Two wall brackets for each room, that will be now four. W one fluorescent lamp for each room, that will be two. And then uh, light bulb for the washroom that is being shared between the two rooms. It's an outside washroom. We have a shaver socket in the washroom and also an instant shower in that washroom. The same I, was, I had also forgotten for the master bedroom. We also have an instant shower in the bedroom. And then the porch has a twin socket outlet and uh, fluorescent lamps. So you see, this is all I got after talking to the client, even though I could plan for myself. But you see, you have to know what weather the client has and uh, what uh, does the client have in terms of uh, comfort. Does he want luxury, comfort, or just want to save and have an uh, installation in place? So in conclusion, the survey uh, objective were met. I was able to familiarize with the site, the client, and also to size effort to meet with the building contractor. I secured floor plans for the building, and uh, with that information, I can go ahead and even quote exactly what's needed. I can size my system and have everything that I need. So you see, that's all that you need to include. That is very important. Even though there are certain parameters that are missing here, like, uh, let's say, uh, the site conditions, very important. Even though here I've stated where the building is located, it's in Buyuni Voyu. If you understand where Voy is, Voy is located in a, in a hot area zone, but it's not, the temperature does not exceed 30. So the temperature will, the ambient temperature will be just be normal. So the correction factor for ambient temperature will not be a problem. And depending on the nature reference method that I've uh, selected here, uh, the issue to do with the thermal insulation won't be a problem too. So the grouping won't be a problem because I, I intend to have different circuit, final circuit for this. So all this has been made possible just what to include. Other parameter that is also missing here is uh, on building utilities. It's good to state what other activities or other services that will be provided in the house. If this one is a flat building, so you can see there's no need of elevators, but we have other building utilities like 
the, the sewer system, the drainage system. Eh? Does, does the client have a gassing system? But when I was meeting the client for the first time, this remember this is a new block being brought up. So I came in when the, the blocks are the one being raised and uh, the roof had also been placed. So it's just soon plastering will be taking place. So I have to rush in quickly and prepare the list of material before I proceed to uh, doing or performing the installation as it. So from this point, I've broken down. And this one I'll be taking into the second video on how to prepare uh, material. But before you go to material, you have to size the system. So from these requirements here, and what I will, uh, uh, the floor plan says, I've been able to bring and break it into many circuits. As you can see, for my sizing, we have the lighting circuit, we have the power circuit, we have the uh, cooker control circuit, we have the instant shower circuit, we have air conditioner circuit, and then the consumer capacity. So the reason why you have different circuits, it means I cannot have uh, the final circuit for light being against powering all the sockets or powering the instant shower. So I have to break into different. Also, as you can see, one thing I want to say about this, because this one, this information, I've, 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 I've just drawn it from the survey report, the one that I had summarized here. So you can see, like, if I'm talking of lighting circuit, I mean all the lights will share a single protective device. They will also share a, a same conductor. So if I have to size the conductor, the conductor size should be able to carry all the load in the house including the security light that I've not included there. So with this, you should be able to continue. As you can see, if I, if I count the two ceiling chandelier, they were in certain rooms. They're not in all rooms. The LED strip, all that, I've combined together. All the number of twin sockets, if they're going to be connected in ring or in radial, all that I'll be explaining on how to proceed with it. We had a, a, an air conditioner and a instant shower as well. So before you proceed to sizing, you have to know the market rates. So, what is the rate, other than the cost, the rate, the rate of a socket uh, outlet, uh, most of it we have 13 amperes, but we, when you're talking of a socket outlet that will be pouring a free and a freezer, you should get one that is so powerful. So in this case, we can go for 15 or 20 ampere socket outlets, which are, uh, they look similar, but the rating is different in that case. That's why you find in most cases, see, we just use 13 ampere sockets in the kitchen, and then they are the first socket to blow. So that's the reason. Get a different rating and also give it a different protective device. Even though I've, I've put it as a power circuit, but that socket outlet with a different rating from the rest won't be part of the ring or part of the radial. So it will go as individual. So in the counting, as I'll be taking you through, you'll be able to see how to proceed from this point, which is also critical. So allow me to end it there for today. As we continue with the system sizing in the next video, please be keen and be attentive. Today I'll be taking you through step by step. Pay attention and be there ready for everything. Prepare your IE regulation manual, the 17th edition. I'll be guiding you to the tables directly. Because of this, I'm presenting directly in a live session. So I want to be able to be projecting the reference uh, tables as I do. I'll just be giving you code, uh, codes as you can go and double check later as you do your research. Thank you and stay put.